What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video from my channel. I am Ankit Banerjee, and you are watching Shiva Ikar Ankit. Now, as you can see, I am riding the TVS Intoc 125. It is the flagship scooter from TVS. So it uh, produces about 9.3 bhp and 10.3 newton meters of torque from a 125 cc single cylinder engine. Now. There is a slight difference between the actual performance and the spec sheet of this motorcycle. So uh, the acceleration is linear and the lower end torque is kind of laggy and that's why as you can see I am pulling the motorcycle but uh, it isn't picking up speed really well. So, uh, After a certain RPM, it actually uh, picks up pretty well. So, uh, speaking about uh, the performance as a commuter, this is uh, scooters are mainly considered as a commuter, and uh, the power and pickup they uh, provide, you cannot actually expect nothing other than commuting. So, uh, as a commuter, it will serve its duties really well. It's very smooth. And moreover, the exhaust note, I don't know whether you can hear it or not, but the exhaust note is pretty nice. It's very bassy and uh, it uh, attracts quite a bit of attention when you accelerate this motorcycle. Many people actually turn around to uh, hear the exhaust, that's the thing. Now speaking about the ride quality of this scooter, as you can see, I'm passing over this bump. And it's uh, really soft and supple, which is really nice. And uh, TVS has uh, tuned the suspension very uh, beautifully. That's why you have good feedback in the front uh, handlebar, as well as you get a supple suspension, which makes it easier to live with in the city and uh, especially the rough roads of India. That's the thing. Oh man. The horn is also pretty nice, uh, actually. It's uh, really uh, loud and it's in a very beautiful position. I can easily raise my uh, left thumb on the horn. Uh, now speaking about the braking on this, as you can see the braking is uh, really sure-footed. It's uh, feedback reach and it actually stops this motorcycle in a shorter distance which is uh, nice. Now this has a uh, disc in the front brake and it's a drum setup in the rear and it's nothing uh, fancy here you have the uniform braking system from tvs which is marketed as ubs so while you apply the rear brake uh, both of the brakes are applied together and the front brake is separate so, uh, this combined braking system actually results in a uh, better stopping of this uh, scooter now if you have seen my third video of out of my xbhp playlist uh, i will also put up the link in the description box for that video you will uh, notice one thing there that uh, i was uh, saying about uh, in talk which is clocking about 103 kilometers per hour on the highway while they were on the road trip united whole india tour more than 10,000 kilometers now that 103 kilometers per hour figure for a 125cc scooter is uh, a task to be honest because uh, these scooters are not meant to go up to that speed on the highways but uh, yeah this scooter actually managed and it should be uh, credited for uh, that purpose So as you can see this is the Entoc 125 which I was riding now 
this is the 125 cc scooter from tvs now coming to the front design you have this matte side panels and you have this gloss black jacket in front you have this uh, little black gloss black fly screen and you have this smart connect badging here then you have the indian tricolor sticker here and then also you have this L indicators integrated onto the front uh, handlebar uh, now coming to the halogen headlamp of this uh, scooter so you have the base variant has this halogen headlamp and other than that the race edition and the marvel editions have the uh, all led headlamp with led drl now this is the led drl of the scooter now coming to the front mudguard it's also finished in body color with this black stripe which looks really nice and moreover it's a very sharp design with minute cuts and creases throughout its body now coming to the front tire of the scooter so it's a 12 inch tire and you have this uh, telescopic forks with uh, disc brake at the front and this side you have this n torque 125 badging with uh, TVS ra racing badging now the side panels on the footboard is actually finished in a kind of matte carbon fiber finish which now coming to this side you have the body panels and these are the cuts and creases it's actually added to the muscle of this scooter while it's on the road it attracts quite a bit of attention now you have the Intoc badging Intoc 125 badging and then you have some matte silver bits here now speaking about the footboard the footboard is really spacious you can actually stretch your feet quite a bit and you have this cutting for the footboard where you can place your feet while you're on a longer journey now these are the cubby holes of the scooter where you can keep a lot of stuff and this is the hook where you can actually mount your market bags and stuff you have also another hook here where you can tie up your stuff now coming to the pill uh, pillion foot pegs it's in aluminium it's finished really nice it folds up like this and gets integrated into the body now coming to the rear tire uh, the rear tire is a very wide tire and it's also the biggest tire in the segment so in most of the scooters the rear tire is usually at 10 inches but um, this scooter has a 12 inch rear tire with this rear tire hugger now this uh, big tire actually aids in the balance and stability of the scooter at higher speeds now speaking about the exhaust i will also attach the exhaust note later on so it's a very big muffler that you see here with this uh, aluminium guards here so that you don't scratch up the main muffler now coming to the rear design so it's pretty interesting here so you have this t kind of led uh, tail lamp with this fighter jet like vents and underneath you have the indicators and you have a tvs badging here and then you have the rear fender now coming to this side this side has uh, more or less the same thing only the TVS badging on the belt drive cover and that's the thing you also have a three valve badging on the uh, air box now let's come to the seat so the seat is uh, soft it's really accommodating and very comfortable to ride even on the bad roads so it won't be a pain and the pillion seat is also very wide and very uh, accommodating and you have this slight hump which is being made between the pillion and the rider seat let's open up the seat of the scooter so you have a very big space under seat space for this scooter and it's really huge and you can actually put a full face helmet very easily and then also you have some space left for your extra stuff now you have this small torch kind of thing and and beside this uh, you have a provision for your charging socket so it's a usb charging socket here now it also has a outside fuel filler cap and and the keyhole is right here and it flips open like this 
well you press the key and that's it now coming to the instrument cluster of this scooter so what you have here is a speedometer there is an odometer there is a trip meter in the corner then you have this time this is the heat gauge of the scooter you have this fuel meter and it's a smart scooter so you have bluetooth connectivity with this scooter where you can access different information about this scooter and then you have the all the tradital lights around it so yeah they are the indicators you have this small tvs horse logo here so you have the intact badging here now speaking about the switch gear quality now you have the engine kill switch here which is unlike any scooter so uh tvs has included a uh, engine kill switch now this is a switch from where you can actually uh, increase uh, or decrease the power of the drl so that's it then you have the ignition switch underneath and all this casing is in a, a matte carbon fiber kind of finish now coming to this side you have the pass switch here and then you have the upper and the depot then you have the indicators then you have the horn underneath you also have this uh, rear view mirrors which is kind of okay uh, it ca could have been better from tvs or better rear view mirrors and that was all about the entoc 125 design now should you consider buying this scooter or not now speaking about the position where it, uh, where it is being placed uh, right now into the market so it has competitors like the honda grazia 125 then the maestro age 125 there are lot of players into the market but out of them this offers the perfect balance uh, when you go to buy a scooter you also have a better performer than this that's the prelia 125 sr and that actually uh, is uh, less practical than that and that's why i told it's a very balanced product from tvs now if you personally ask me i would uh, suggest buying this scooter in the whole segment and speaking about the price the price is kind of at a expensive side moreover it actually justifies the price cuz it's a premium scooter that you can see here so that's all about entoc 125 if you like this video please uh, hit the like button share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for many such videos across different motorcycles into the market so this is ankit banerji signing off